there's all these you know norms that were in place in the television business and in film, by the way, uh, that protected writers and that like this is how we made TV and movies for years, like having a writer's room. And then these companies have just decided, actually, what if we didn't do that as a way to pay us less? It's sort of like if airline pilots, you know, if it didn't, uh, I don't know what's in their contract, but what if their contract didn't say there has to be two pilots and three flight attendants? What if they only had to fly a third of the time, a third of the flight? That would be a terrible model. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. 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 And what if if the companies were like, how about it's just one guy (laughs) in the plane? Or or like- He also has to do the drinks. But but you don't ever get to land the plane. (laughs) (laughs) Like that's that's the thing (laughs) that, you know, we're, you know, we don't need pilots to land the plane. Yeah. Everybody doesn't have to learn how to land the plane. Yeah. That is, that is I think. Well, and that's one of the problems because yeah. it used to be that writers would go to set because writing would happen during production right. and then writers would learn how to become showrunners because yeah. they'd go and they'd see, oh, wait, if I write, if I write X, then Y is going to happen. 